Howdy folks, my name is Lanzo90, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So obviously, let's talk about the horse in the room right now. I, I bought a webcam. I just felt like it was one of those things I should probably have at this point. Most of the big YouTubers do it. I know there's a lot of YouTubers that are getting by without using webcams, but I think it's time. So we're going to go with the webcam for a while, see how it goes. Um, I put it in the least distracting place I think I can put it, which is on top of the text log here. Shouldn't be blocking very much important. I almost never look at like the top of the text log. There's nothing there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hopefully it works out okay. Give me any recommendations you have for like camera positioning. I can move it around to a few different places. I don't want to do it right now because it'll, it'll freak out because it, it auto adjusts for lighting and stuff. You can see it freaks out. But uh, give me any suggestions about how you want things framed. And, uh, just play it like normal. Alright, so. We went to sleep too early last time, unfortunately. So, we are up too early in the day to do much. Well, except now we have the reading right, so we actually could do whatever the heck we wanted. Why did you auto-consume some stuff? You just ate a bunch of, uh... Actually, I only took three of those. <laughs> you have to be careful. You can eat anything in this game. All right. Uh, let's see. I don't think we have any like prepared meals here, so let's light up the fire. Oh, let's drop our leather armor first. I assume I'm wearing it. I might not have grabbed it. Yeah, I didn't even grab it. That's okay. So... gonna find out by the way that I'm not a <laughs> I'm not entirely a by feel typist I glance at the keyboard from time to time I don't pick keys but I do glance <laughs> I think you can forgive me with a game like this because we need pretty much every key on the keyboard to play this one uh, I guess give me the vegetable salad here this is a uh, Complicated meal, more or less. I guess I'll use soy sauce, even though that doesn't sound very good. Vegetable salad. Obviously not going to do that much for us. I did cure the hunger, which is interesting. I can't believe we have so much food. And yet... We can't make anything interesting with it. Well, I'm going to consider that good enough. Let's top off with tea here. There we go. Extinguish the fire, even though we can use it for light. We'll just use the, the reading light for now on. See, I think I moved it to the bottom left pile. I'm missing it. It's still on our inventory, maybe. No. Nope, it's there. You gotta look for the plus one, because that means it has an upgrade on it. I'm losing it. There it is. It's just buried in the middle of stuff. <laughs> Things used to sort by, like, alphabetical order or by, like, the order in which they got placed in the spot, but now they just seem to be random. All right. Uh, need the trapping book, I guess. Oh, we don't need the relight. Man, 
man. That thing's awesome. Pop that in there. Here we go. Can no longer learn. I thought we could get another level or two out of it. It's all right. For a moment, the sound effect sounded like it was raining, but I guess it's not. I don't know why it doesn't rain that much anymore. It's kind of lame. Well... We don't actually have that much on the to-do list right now. We got so much done that we need to get done. Like really, the only thing is like getting an anvil built. So we're gonna need the crucible. So we'll have to get clay. And we're gonna need an acetylene torch. Or an electric forge. Or charcoal forge. Eight heating elements and a power converter. I thought we had a ton of heating elements because they were coming out of every uh, lighter we were breaking down. Unless we've really used them all. I don't remember using all the heating elements, though. What would we have used them for? Let's try the find function again. Okay, we must have used them for something. I guess building one of these things, I guess. Okay, well, we don't really need this. This thing actually needs repaired, but... I'm gonna drop it off by the window. We'll take the shopping cart. Well, it's not a shopping cart. It's our trunk trunk on wheels. We're just going to have to go bash up a bunch of uh, ovens. Hello, dog. I'm glad we can't accidentally hit the dog. That's loud. At least we can get more than one heating element out of these. Oh, the dog trapped us. That's weird, like they... Oops, we don't need a steel frying pan. It's weird that he can stop the trunk from getting pushed, but... We can still walk over the trunk and then displace him ourselves. Right, give me all that good stuff. Stuff, please. I feel like we saw somewhere that had like a lot of ovens, but I can't remember where that might have been. Those are racks. Sword we saw somewhere. Had a buttload of ovens. Need your 
frying pans. Take everything else. At least we're getting more than one heating element per oven. We don't want to go in that building. Causes some issues. Dang broken. Locked doors. Yeah, I can't get the thing in here. Not without bashing some stuff down. Right, that should be more than enough heating elements. I was gonna say, I wonder if instead of making like a uh, RV like I normally do, if we should just build a uh, build a vehicle, but not put any wheels on it, and just make like a really big house that we can wire up and everything. Would be kind of cool, but we also do want some way to travel around the map in the long run here, so. We might as well. It's not honestly that much more work. Especially since we have an infinite source of power. Which, by the way, can we just repair you from where you're at? No, we need one more electronic scrap. That's okay. Right, there's all that stuff. So that was the forge. Power converter. Um, we'll have to go to Tashi Station to get one of those. <laughs> We'll break down some of these electronics here. I've already broken down a lot of these though, so... I'm not sure what else I could hope to find. Some of these will take a really long time to break down to. Yeah, maybe the MP3 players will have a power converter in them, but... Perhaps we should go try to get that big screen TV. We saw that a long time ago. But we couldn't carry it. which house exactly it was in, though. I thought it was this one, to be honest with you. It might be the burning building, for all I know. Oh. I really got stuck in there, huh? It's a stereo system... Oh, hey, it says there could be a power converter in here. So we'll grab that. Also, just a bunch of junk in here. Oh, this is from bashing a bed up earlier. It's the scrap metal. There's a TV. Yeah, move it like this, though. <laughs> Dang dog. Alright. Send me home. Uh, 
All right. We can break the total vision in 20 seconds. Just plastic? Okay, I think we got a power converter there, so. Backup beeper, electronic scrap, power converter. Rig. It's not the one I wanted to move. I use the comma to... I was trying to just move the stack, but I forgot commas move everything. It's like capital M that only moves... A piece of thing. I think that was it, though. Okay. Electric Forge. Scrap metal, use the arc welder. Might be real very hungry this time. It's been very hungry for a while and we didn't eat all that much in the morning. Portable electric metalworking forge powered by batteries combined with the right tools. You can use this for metalworking. It'll work, you can probably convert it to direct, directly off a of vehicle's power system. I wonder what it takes to just install it on here. I don't even know if we can put it in the same slot as this one. We're looking for Forge. No. I might be able to go on something that doesn't have a forge on it. But it doesn't have anything else on it. Forge? Oh. Probably outside of our pay grade here. I'll drop those batteries there. Small storage. Don't know if we can. Compatible magazine. What does it want right now, or do I have to go find something else? Heavy battery, heavy disposable. Heavy battery, high capacity. See if we can make a heavy battery. Heavy battery mod. The medium batteries to make a heavy battery, though. Now, so make a medium one with high capacity, it'd have 600 charges. Surely that would be enough. Did it say it could take a medium battery? Uh, it really wants a heavy one. So otherwise I have to install the mod as well. Two medium ones for one of these, huh? Bunch of light batteries. Let's pull out any light batteries that we're gonna actually use. Just to make sure it uses the dead ones. Hopefully I'll use those there. Please. 
me a heavy battery. Now I should just be able to reload it. Here we go. No charges, though. <laughs> Alright, this thing is not working again. What's wrong with you today? Maybe it turned itself off. Yeah, it just turned itself off. Because it's real lame. Alright, now we're going to need the crucible. Lumps of clay. That's just going to be a good old-fashioned adventure. There could be some nearby. Well, we need a digging tool if we're going to do this. Imagine just ye old fashioned shovel. We'll do the trick for us here. So let's check by the lake that we have here. I don't see any. Which could make this a little bit more difficult. We might have to go all the way to the sea. There are some swamps down that way. And some swamps up this way. This one will be the easiest to get to. So let's stop at home. Let's eat because our character is very hungry. Pop the lighter again. More stuff went wrong. Corn bread, torn, corn tortilla. Maybe this will open up some more stuff if we made some of these. Case of Frigandilla. Consume it right where it's at, and then let's down some tea. Put some leather armor on. Get out of here. Oh, the other thing I wanted to grab is a survivor telescope. Put it in this pile, I believe, but maybe it's in the tool pile. There it is. All right, since we're going a good distance, the survivor telescope will let us see more of the map. Should keep safe mode on too, because we don't know what we're going to run into out here. Giant cockroach nymphs that got away a long time ago. A fox. And just a random cabin in the middle of nowhere, which is always very creepy. That's enough to the apartment building, actually, for, for us to see the zombies over there. spot of water there. <laughs> that's kind of funny that it's right there too. That must, it must be on purpose. You could uh, you just build a little base in this thing since there's a water spot right next to it. 
hypothetically live there as long as you needed to. So we got big old craters. I doubt we can get anything out of this, but... Some rocks. <laughs> eh, that's not what we need. A new building showing up. It's a prison. Some water there, but it's not what we're looking for. I'm assuming this ground isn't... It's just dead grass. Some big old poos. Manure. <laughs> the deer, I guess. Alright, tell me there's clay out here. Kinda doesn't look like it. Dirt. Clay is usually kind of like a wider color in this game. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go all the way to the real river. We're going to want a vehicle for that, I think. There could be just like a bike in town. That would be all we would need. A little bit of running to make some good time here. Yes, okay, so we should check this little pond, huh? It doesn't look like it. Glad the plains aren't entirely made of uh, tall grass anymore. <laughs> oh, hey, MBR vest in perfect condition. Fifteen cumbrance, fifteen warmth, ten bash protection, twenty-five cut protection. That's pretty good, and it's on the outer layer too, which won't conflict with anything. Why are we still wearing the tool belt? We weren't supposed to be wearing the tool belt anymore. But yeah, I don't think we have anything on our torso that's on the outer layer. Like, we can even pop it on now. It'll make us hot, and it is really encumbering. But... If we run into a rough situation. It's a pretty good option, especially if we run into something that has a gun. Alright, we got another pond here. Might as well take a look at it. Don't see anything. Alright, unfortunately that was quite the walk. We'll leave that behind, and we'll try to go find us a bicycle in town. We're all out of time for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.